exclusive and excellent Gitter 3. So, this is the Gitter 3 reissue um, from Future Model slash Art Storm, whatever you're, they're called this week. Um, it is super awesome. Super, super, super awesome. I mean, loaded with metal, high quality, it just looks really stunning. So, I'll show you some of the things that it does, and I'll show you some of the gimmicks, and we will kind of go from there. You may notice, let me zoom out a little bit here, the um, bendy arms, okay? All these joints are hard plastic, and inside is a flexible wire that allows you to kind of do all kinds of poses. Um, the end here, you have these fingers are adjustable. Each one, they're they're you know PVC, so they're going to stick a little bit. Um, most things in this will stick when you first try to move it. Uh, shoulder articulation is good. It will go in and out, go that way, go that way. So pretty pretty darn articulate. Uh, this whole area and the whole back plate, which I'll get to in a minute, all metal. Um, the whole the arms are all plastic. This is all metal, and you can see you can take the chest part off, and there's a removable kind of generator thing here that I'm not going to remove right now. This one, see how long those pegs are? Stays this chest plate stays in the best out of all of them. The head is that the face plate comes off. Whoa, isn't that badass? Yeah. Metal on metal, baby. Metal on metal. Okay. You've got uh, these little medallions. The, uh, the, all this is metal. These medallions are all metal. And you can see uh, where the points of articulation are in the back. The neck is jointed a couple places. The part of the head is metal. Um, these things are removable. You hear that, that noise. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. But the, one of the real draws here is, of course, the um, lower half of Gitter. Uh, astounding looking. So this these all metal all metal all this whole interior fuselage all metal um, surprisingly good amount of articulation considering the design you got um, feet that'll move you get um, like that these will rotate out from the waist kind of cool um, of course, Getter 3 um, transforms into its kind of down mode, I guess. So I'll show you a couple cool things. One, you know, every one of these Exocokins comes with a little tube of, I don't know, Getter goo, I don't know, radiation or whatever. So this one, um, I was excited to see you. <laughs> now, each one of those um, in the past had come with a tube and then a little fake cover. Well, this one actually has a tube that goes in. So, first part you do is you uh, unhook this uh, middle part here. You gotta pull it down a little bit. Bring it around. And pull it out while you're doing it. And then when you're in this position here, click it back in. Alright, see, we'll see what we're getting at. From the side, these come out. Okay, and now with the you got to do the next you have to do is the feet. So the feet are neat. Look at the feet are neat. Um, that this goes back, and this is a working piston. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Same thing on this side. 
put that over to the side. So now, what you have to do, you're kind of juggling a few things here. And if your leg's not in the right position to start with, it might be kind of awkward. There's a weird joint here. You can see it. See how it's kind of flush right now? To get it to bend, you got to make it not flush. So you got to kind of just finesse it a little bit. And it's, it, lack of a better word, it slides forward. Okay, see how I slid it forward? And then now, this comes around. And see this little black button here? This is actually a, a spring-loaded cog, cog, spring-loaded peg that goes into this hole right here. So as you get close to the end, hit a click and you're in. Alright. Do it again for the other side. Push that leg simply forward. Come down. Get the click. Bring it in. And, oh, and now we just have to move the leg assembly in. Kind of seat get it properly. And now you have get her to kind of as this tank. Um, yes. The tank treads roll, and they roll awesomely. They're real rubber. So, pretty spiffy. Um, I think it looks awesome. And this whole, this is all metal. Feel it. Ooh, metal. So basically, all everything that's white here is metal. Everything that's yellow here on the sides is, and then down here is metal. Um, everything that's red here in the body is metal. Uh, everything else is high quality plastic or rubber. Um, the great thing about these arms is that they can keep their poses pretty good. So they don't have a lot of, um, you know, you can kind of do neat poses with them and he'll keep them. So that's always a plus. So, the uh, Getter 3 comes with the Get Machine Bear. And that is the little ship that <laughs> that, that guy is supposed to be come from, kind of. Because, you know, Getter Robo is three uh, ships like this that combine in various formations to produce Getter 1, Getter 2, or Getter 3. So this would be the Getter 3, uh, Getter Bear component. And it, too, is a big piece of metal. Kind of like a cool steampunky design. It's got the hot rod things in the back, the you know the vents. Um, this section comes off to reveal a cockpit. This medallion is changeable, and like the other uh, Getter machines, this uh, these arm pieces can move. I don't know if you can attach anything to them, like you can with the um, other uh, Get machines, but. Pretty cool. Comes with its own stand too. This part doesn't stand too well. I mean, it stays in, but you're not going to be flying around the room, you know. So that's well and good. Um, got mine from Angles.com, and there was a deal that if you, oh, was it you pre-ordered? If you pre-ordered them, I think if you pre-ordered all three of the uh, X Goken repaint versions you got a little something extra at the end of it. And the something extra was called the Gigantic Double Tomahawk. And you think, wow, what a cool name for something. Well, it is cool in name. I'll show you it real quick. And it is cool in function. This thing is, in fact, gigantic. I mean, is actual size, okay? I mean, I'm a big dude. It's a big thing, okay? So, oh, I left the hand on here. You might notice the hands. So it comes with um, this getter, uh, the getter, the gigantic tomahawk, gigantic double tomahawk, and um, it also comes with a special set of hands. So this is for use with the getter one. Here's the thing with the Getter 1, as we know from last time, this chest plate falls off really easily. So I'm just going to leave it off while I do this, because it's going to fall off like a bunch of times. So we take the uh, hands off that come with the Getter. Okay. 
we will put on. Here's a, here's a neat thing too is the way they're supposed to go is you take these parts off the end and then you can actually roll the hand up till you're at the position that you want. So there you go, the gigantic double tomahawk. Uh, of course it's a little heavy, you know. Um, let me move them here. It's a little heavy, but it is awesome. Totally awesome. So the double tomahawk actually is not just a tomahawk. What? You say? No, it's true. As you can see, I've already taken out the um, the middle medallion on his back, and that is because the tomahawk comes with this little piece. Okay. Oh, interested so far. So what we do is we disassemble parts of the tomahawk. Okay. And it comes with these little caps to fill in the spaces that we've left behind. Okay. And you take the little piece out of here, which I already did. And you put that on there. What could it be? Hmm, I don't know. It basically becomes a wing. Forget her. Huh? That's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, the wing has a side effect of when you put this um, piece in here, it pushes the neck forward, which in turn pops the chest plate off. So actually what I'm going to do is pull off this uh, medallion here. There you go. Now I can move a little bit more. And now this piece will stay on a little better. So, I mean, I don't know if you had the wing in mind, you know, when they designed the first one. But, well, probably not because the Geta Tomahawk is new to this release and unfortunately the man who designed this passed away years ago so they probably designed the wing after um, after the fact so maybe that's why it isn't the best thought out thing in the world but it's uh, hey, it's a little neat extra play value for the double tomahawk I think it's kinda cool um, I don't think you can get the tomahawk on its own I think you have to get it through the set. I mean, I'm sure people are selling it on the aftermarket for a retarded amount of money. Uh, if that's the case, then sorry. <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. But it makes a great addition to the piece. And when you have all three getters together, I gotta say that they look kind of fantastic together. So there are the getters. So this is Josh from Collection DX saying if you want to get an ex-go-can-getter, you should go get one at angles.com. And uh, thanks for watching.